Hi traders, I want to take you through a trade I did yesterday, uh, Friday, and it is a very important trade, so I think that should be uh, a very important educational lesson. It all started here with CGC. CGC, as you can see, gap down by more than 7%. That's the first one minute candle. So usually when a stock is gapping down by 7%, in fact more than 3%, you would expect it to gap and go, meaning to come down, gap and continue moving down. Now, as you can see here, CGC is trying to find uh, a direction here. I always like to short them after they move up. The reason why I like to short them after they move up because you need to see the buyers getting out of the game. Now, as you can see here, it's moving slightly higher. Moving slightly higher means that once it's going to come back down, that's going to show to me that the buyers are failing. So I'll be starting to look for a reversal somewhere around here and looking to short it. So, so far it behaves perfectly well. I love the way it behaves. Starts with the gap down, moving up, buyers are getting out of the way. Some of them are just averaging down their losses. Some of them think it's a great price. Now I'm planning my short, which should be under 41.20. The reason I chose 41.20 is because that's the point, in my opinion, of no return. That comes with experience. You need to take a good look at the chart and realize where is the point where the buyers will eventually move out and the stock will crash down. So I just posted that price in the trading room. So it's right now posted for thousands of traders who trade live with me and can mirror my trades with the explanation I'm giving you right now. So I'm planning a trade under 4120 and here it comes down now. As you can see, touched 21. Lots of buyers at 21, you could have seen them on the level 2, and it just bounced. So I'm still waiting for it to come down, because now it's even perfect, it's even better. Because now we have a 1 minute candle that is moving up, another 1 minute candle that moved up, leaving a topping tail, and this green candle you're seeing right now could turn to be red 2, and if it's going to come down under 41.20, I could even add some because now it really looks perfect, assuming it's going to fail, but it's not. It's just about to move over the highs, which, is, which it's, it just did. So it just moved over the highs. At that point, well, I would still wait for it to fail, but look at the volume coming in. It doesn't look very likely. It's moving up very strong. And at that point, as you can see here, it's down only 3 point something percent. That means stock is going to do what we call a reciprocal wrench play. Meaning we could go long, assuming it's going to close the gap, which is at 44, and then continue and double the gap. It gapped down by three points, from 44 to approximately 41, a little bit more than three points. So the target should be 47, 44 plus three and something points. And it's very, very likely to do so because it's moving up with a lot of momentum, with a lot of volume. Look at the volume here, already two and a half million shares. And that's just the fifth one minute candle. So stock moving up, and at that point, I'm looking for a chance to move in long. Because at that point, it's no longer a short opportunity. You can see the momentum, you can see the way it moves up, but I do need a technical entry. And right now, I don't have a technical entry. Well, you could call that a bull flag, what you've just seen, the third uh, candle here moving over the top. But it's very risky. A stock like that could pull back several points. And if I would have moved in here, I could easily be shaken out of a trade like that. So as you can see, the stock's moving up with a lot of volume. It's probably going to be a reciprocal range play. And I'm looking for a long opportunity. But I cannot take the long unless I see a real pullback. And for a real pullback, you need two candles, a red candle and a green candle that follows. And this candle right here could turn to be the candle I'm looking for, the pullback candle. Now look at the view up. It's supposed to be bouncing right at the view up over here. Just touch the view up. Here it is. It's supposed to stop here. And now, assuming the next candle is going to be the green candle, I could look for a long. The long opportunity should be somewhere around here. 
43.30, I would say, would be the long opportunity. And as you can see, we just touched the view up. Volume, weight, average price, see another lesson about that. It is a very, very important signal for institutional traders. They are the ones who are buying it when it touches the view up. And now if it's going to go over 43.25, which I just posted in the trading room so that everybody can do the same thing I do, can mirror my trades, I'm going to go long. And here we go. I'm getting ready to go long. Now just moved over 43.30. I click the buy button. I'm long 4,000 shares. And again, the direction is up. The momentum is up. It's probably going to be a reciprocal range play, meaning it's going to move in the direction of closing the gap and doubling. My first target, however, is going to be the same as I risk. So I'm risking approximately 60 cents. Somewhere around here should be my stop. So my target should be the same. Anywhere between 60 to 70 cents that I'm risking here, that should be my target at around the 44. Now, the 44 is also a whole number. I'll try and see if the stock can move over 44 because they usually bounce whole numbers. That's also the point of the gap. Now, look at the daily. Look at the way it came down yesterday, and today it's moving up again, trying to close the gap. And I'm a bit worried of the 44, but the 44 mark is where I'm going to have a profit of approximately 65 cents. So that should be the same risk, same reward as my risk. And I always trade a one-to-one -one risk reward. So if I'm risking 60 to 70 cents and I have a whole number at around 60 cents, that should be my target. So I'll be very, very happy to take a partial, meaning sell. In my case, it's going to be 3,600 shares at the point where it closes the gap. Very nice technical formation over the highs, 43.60, and we are just over. And here comes the target. I'm getting ready to take my partial, 3,600 shares. I'll try and let it move over 44, and it just did. It just did. Any pullback, I'm supposed to sell. Again, trying to see if it can move over 44. Once more. Now it did. Clicking the button. Took my partial at 44.02. Left just 400 shares. And look at it goes now. I'm getting ready to sell another 300 shares. Another 60 cents this time over 44. So I more than doubled my risk. Getting ready to sell another 300 shares. Selling now at approximately 1.2 points. Now look at the time. 9.45, 15 minutes into the trading day. I'm already up. $2,800 in CGC, also riding NI for $800 right now. Uh, Tesla is uh, a previous trade. I'm still holding this form a few days back. So I'm doing real well, but it's time to ask my trading members and see how they're doing. These are the results. You will see some traders who are making money, some are losing money, but the vast majority is, of course, uh, green. Uh, we all trade together. You see all my picks here on the right side. Everything I trade, like uh, you can take a look at here and find CGC long over 43.25, which is posted here in the room. Originally, I thought I should short it. That is two here, CGC under 41.20. And just take a good look at the numbers. That's what you can do too. You can join us. You can trade with us live every day. Just click here on the right-hand corner and join us for a free 14-day trial. Looking forward to trading with you guys. Thank you for watching our video. Before you go, we invite you to join the TradeNet trading room for a free 14-day trial. TradeNet has educated more than 30,000 professional traders worldwide since 2004, and its trading room is one of the world's leading trading communities. Click here to start your free trial. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.